Make a separate solo lesson, okay? But okay, that's not exactly it. <laughs> But like I said, I'm gonna make a separate solo for the, a uh, separate lesson for the solo. Let's see here. people that play this they play it very well and I know a lot of people that don't try to do it just like the record but I know how to do it just like the record he gets a sound in there that people have been eluded by for many 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 years he put a he being Jimmy Page the guitar player from Led Zeppelin he put out a movie called it might get loud or something like that uh, with Jack White and the edge from you too in there he shows how he gets that sound, all right? He does this like, he bends this D note up. Now this is a D note and the note under it is a D, right? A string D note at my fifth fret and then open D string under it, four string open. But he bends that to make, a, to make that little bit of a dissonant sound. That's a staple sound of the song that most people that I've seen ever play it, except for Jimmy Page himself, and actually a couple really good um, sanctioned cover bands. So they're authorized. They are doing it perfectly. And what they're doing is... Hear it? F 
sharp. D, E, F sharp. D, E, F sharp. Now, the solo, I said I was going to make a separate video, but I guess I might as well just keep it together um, while I got the time right now to do it. I think I will. All right. So, you have this kind of solo where it's kind of spaced out. It's, you know, there's no, elect there's no computers back then. So, this was all done with uh, theremins and different sort of uh, guitar effects and stuff and, you know, panning the sound from the left side of the arena to the right side of the arena, playing all these games in audio that really weren't well, commonplace at the time. These guys were inventing, you know, they were setting the stage, so to speak, no pun intended. Uh, these guys and their peers, you know, they were, they were inventing this as they were going along. Now, by the way, when it starts off, you notice it stays on the E chord twice as long before it does the rest of the clock. couple of times. Now half the time. Alright, then it goes into that spaced out stuff. And then when it comes back in, there's a drum do 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 you know Bonzo, the drummer, was always the cue master. He's always cueing the guys in the band. Not that they were too um, stoned up or anything to know what was going on and remember the parts. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the drummer's job was to keep the map of the song. Although, I saw Jimmy Page always standing in front of the drummer going, <laughs> I think orchestrating everybody, really, which is mind-blowing because he'd been in some deplorable, I hate to say it, but he had been in some pretty bad conditions while performing live back in the, in the, um, in the, in the Led Zeppelin day. Uh, terrible to say. I wish that had never happened. Most likely the drummer would still be alive and Led Zeppelin would still be the reigning rock band in the world and probably have 45 more records out by now and uh, I don't know whatever let me know what you think by that about that drop it in the, in the comments I'm curious all right so uh, like I said I guess I'll put the solo in this instead of making a separate video uh, put chapters in so you guys can just go to what part where you want the, the solo starts out after that that drum roll the, the drum roll by Bonzo <laughs> Just the E, that's it. I like to let the open E ring out with it. And then goes over to the E, blue scale or minor pentatonic. And he does this little, you know, kind of like a chuck there. Almost. Then he might fourth string, I'm sorry. 14th fret of the G string. And then B string and E string, the 12th fret. And that's B string 15 to 12th string 15, uh, 12th fret B string. That's the G string pulling off 16, I'm sorry, 15, 14, 12, Then two after. Then and that one I bend up a whole step. When I mean bending a whole step or half step, that means you go a whole step up. Remember each fret's a half step, but and then bend to that. So you got, hear the sound, sorry, except he does it at Jimmy Page speed, right?
B string slide, a G string slide, two to four. B string, hit the third fret. Then I do a pull off, four, two, zero. Back it up with a another pull off, two, zero, two, zero. Two. I pull it off and then hit the open string again. Pull it off and hit the open, open string again. So you go. So you go. It's very hard. That's the fourth string, trill. You know, that's a hammer on with a pull off. Fifth string trill, second fret. Double whack on the open E. So you got. The next one goes back to that E minor pentatonic. G string, bend it up all step, 12th fret, B and E string, bending 5th string, 15th of the B string up a whole step, pinky, 5th string, I'm sorry, 15th of the 1st string under it, right, so you got... And this is here, up, 12, 12, and then back on 12 of my B string. Watch my right hand, watch. Then you slide up to your um, 17, 18th G string, 18th fret, 17th fret B string. Now you got your uh, 20th fret, I'm bending up a whole step, or actually two steps. Let's hear it. So, 18, string under it, 17, 20, two step bend. First string, 19, bending it up, and then chromatic, so 19, 18, 17, 17 on the B string, and then pull off 20 to that 17 twice. Here.
I start with the opening, slide from my five to seven, then I do that. Palm mute over here. I palm mute until it's time for the riff. Makes it stand out more. In the middle part of that, he was using what was called a theremin, and it it did all these really cool electronic effects. Wow, 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 wow! They they were panning them across the stadium from left to right, front to back, all that. So when I do this out live, I, I take a, a wah pedal and I take two delay pedals with me, and I'll set some sort of a. I can't really do it. I don't have my foot pedals with me, but I can show you kind of some. A couple of the things I do, I'll get this long delay going. And then I like to use the slide because it, it kind of can get those really high pitch, you know. Wah! Pick scrapes, fear nail. I mean, the song is called Whole Lot of Love. I don't want to get explicit, but you know what the center section is supposed to sound like. You know, procreation, right? Um, people making love, for sure. So, or animals or something, but there's sounds in the background that are reminiscent of that act. And... When I do it, you know, uh, Robert Plant was only 20 years old. He probably felt comfortable going up, going, ah, ooh, ah, or whatever, right? So for me now at this stage, I've, I've taken it to a different level. <laughs> It's not any less good of a level, it's just a different level. <laughs> so you all know, the young guys watching this. So uh, that's just what I choose to do for that center part because I don't have a theremin. I also like to use the bow. I don't have it sitting here. If I thought I had, I would have had it sitting out and I'll show you. I use the bow just to get the... And then plus you can get the... You know, the...
you know, with the delay, or especially with two delay pedals, I only have one on now. If you're going to try a slide, you have to remember, mute all the strings except for one or two, otherwise you get all this, uh, well, unless you want that kind of habit. Turn my pick sideways. Depending where I hold my hand. I'm not pushing anywhere, okay? If you push, you're gonna get notes. You don't want notes. Too much fun oh by the way this is my 1994 jimmy page signature les paul i've had it uh, for the best part of my playing life it's a 1994 i graduated high school in 1990 so you know uh, i've been playing guitar for years before that but this was my first really quality really good instrument uh stage ready you know um collectible all that blah 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 all right um Thank you very much. I appreciate all your support. Uh, you know what to do if you want to help the channel out. I don't have to say with the like button and the subscribe button. Um, uh, strum well, pick happy, and smile often, all right? That's basically the whole point of it, isn't it? All right. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.